This video is part of a series regarding the installation and configuration of Microsoft Active Directory. Previously, we set up a new Active Directory forest and domain using Windows Server 2025. Now, we'll add a second domain controller to our existing Active Directory domain. We will cover operating system preparation, promotion to a domain controller, alternative promotion method, post domain promotion checks, and next domain steps. As we did with the first domain controller, we have to ensure the operating system is prepared. At the server manager dashboard screen, dismiss the Try Windows Admin Center screen and click the local server section. Under the properties area for the server, set your current time zone, set your IP address. As with the first domain controller, the IP address must be set statically. The DNS server must be the Active Directory DNS server that can resolve the domain. Open a terminal or PowerShell session and type either nslookup or resolve-dns name. Ensure the domain name properly resolves. Set the domain controller's computer name and reboot when prompted. Note. We could join the domain at this point, but we'll do that later. Log in following the reboot. Ensure the operating system is fully updated. At the Server Manager dashboard, under Welcome to Server Manager, click Add Roles and Features. Likewise, Click the Manage menu and select Add Roles and Features. Under Installation Type, leave as Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation. Under Server Selection, the local computer will automatically be added to the server pool. Under Server Roles, add the Active Directory Domain Services role, which will add all the necessary features. Click Next to review the features. At the ADDS section, click Next. At the confirmation screen, proceed with the installation. When completed, close the Add Roles and Features wizard. With Server Manager still open, click the caution symbol on the notification flag and click Promote this server to a domain controller. Leave the first radio button selected since we are adding a domain controller to an existing domain. Under Supply the Credentials to perform this operation, click the Change button. Enter the user principal name of a user that has domain admin rights. With a successful authentication, the domain will appear in the domain field. Click the Select button to double check, as you will see the domain there also. Leave the DNS and Global Catalog checkboxes selected. Note that the site name will be the same as what we renamed from the default, default first site name. As with the first domain controller, use a strong password for the directory services restore mode. Although we already have an Active Directory integrated DNS, we'll still be presented with the DNS delegation warning. At Additional Options, leave Replicate from any domain controller. We only have one anyway. Leave the defaults for the location of the Active Directory database logs in the SysVault folder unless you have selected a different folder for the first domain controller. Remember, the paths should be the same for all domain controllers. Review the options and export the PowerShell commands for later use, if desired. Again, we'll see the same DNS delegation warning on the prerequisites check page. 
the server will automatically reboot after it is successfully promoted to a domain controller. As server manager, local server, click work group, followed by the change button. Click the more button and enter the full domain at the primary DNS suffix. Leave the checkbox checked. This will prevent this possible error later. Although this error is a nuisance, it is not critical. In the domain field, enter the full domain name, not the shortened NetBIOS domain name. Since we specified the domain name in the previous dialog, we only need to specify the username of a user with rights to join a computer to the domain here. When successful, you will see a Welcome to the Domain dialog. Restart when prompted. At the login screen, click Other User. Windows Server 2022 may automatically bring you to the correct login screen. Log in as a user with domain admin rights. With server manager open, click the caution symbol on the notification flag and click promote this server to a domain controller. Leave the first video button selected since we are adding a domain controller to an existing domain. The domain field will be populated and the credentials will reflect the user who is currently logged in. You can, however, change the user if necessary by clicking the Change button. Follow all the steps as detailed in the earlier section. When complete, your server will be a domain controller. At the login screen, click Other User. Windows Server 2022 may automatically bring you to the correct login screen. At Server Manager, click the Tools menu and select DNS. Right-click DNS, select Connect to DNS Server, and enter the first domain controller. Ensure both DNS servers properly reflect the added IPv4 reverse lookup zone. Open the forward lookup zone and the primary domain zone on both servers and check to see if the second domain controller is showing as an A record and listed as a name server. Close DNS Manager. Open Windows Explorer and navigate to slash slash your domain. Open the sysfile domain name and policies folder. Ensure the Policy Definitions folder is present. In another Explorer tab or window, open the C, Windows, Sysfile, Domain, Policies folder and ensure the Policy Definitions folder is present. Open a terminal or PowerShell session and type get ad forest. Ensure both domain controllers are listed as global catalogs. Next, type get ad domain and check to see if both domain controllers are listed as replica directory servers. Back at Server Manager, Local Server, open Network Connections by clicking the IP address next to Ethernet. Right-click the adapter, select Properties, click Internet Protocol version 4, and click the Properties button. The DNS servers should reflect the local server with the local loopback address and the other DNS server slash domain controller. If desired, you can change the order, but this is optional. Click the Advanced button and select the DNS tab. Reorder the DNS servers so the local loopback is first. Click OK twice and close the Ethernet Properties dialog and the Network Connections window. 
Add the first domain controller, open the network adapter, and IPv4 properties. Add the second DNS server slash domain controller into the alternate DNS server field. Click OK and close the Ethernet properties dialog and the network connections window. When attempting to join a server or computer to an existing domain, you might see this error. Likewise, when attempting to directly promote a domain controller into an existing Active Directory domain. For a computer or server to join a domain, the DNS server must be able to resolve the domain name. Using a public DNS server, a router DNS server, or a DNS server that is not an Active Directory integrated DNS will cause a domain join to fail. Congratulations. We now have a fully functioning Active Directory forest and domain with two domain controllers. The next step is to set up and join an administrative client computer to the domain. This is a computer from which all domain and server administrative functions are carried out since administrators are recommended not to directly log into domain controllers unless absolutely necessary. In this video series, we'll also cover the installation of a new forest and domain using Windows Server Core. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching. Oh,